right, so I'm gonna pull it back up in the driveway. Pop this little dude off here. Uh, get your back in six tanks. that is what your plug looks like after 23 hours which is pretty damn dirty should not look like that so we're gonna try and detune the carburetor a little bit possibly and we're gonna try and run a little better plug in there that's a little warm still i don't even know what brand to run in the beginning with Porch plugs, part number F5RTC. Uh, I believe the manual actually calls for an NGK uh, between, I think, 27 thousandths and like 31 thousandths, I think, something like that. So we'll probably run a little cross reference chart, figure out a better plug, and I'll let you guys know. But that is the problem. Alright, so yesterday we figured out that the uh, factory torch spark plugs are in fact pretty much shot. I tried cleaning them up a little bit with brake cleaner, but the electrodes are still just disgusting. Only 25 hours, I mean they are, I've never heard of torch, they may be a big brand, but not entirely sure. So I went and picked up three options, I only have two of them came in, we got the NGK which is what the factory manual calls for. So we're gonna start with these. Then we also picked up the E3s, two of those. And then I also ordered a set of Autolite 3910X race plugs. Those will not be in till tomorrow, but we'll do a comparison video of all three of them and go from there. But let's go ahead and get these out and get these gapped properly. So I went ahead and regapped the new plugs to 29. Actually, oh, this thing's kind of falling out, but the factory torch plugs were at 29. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're not gonna end up leaving these in here. This is kind of just to show you how it runs, sort of a thing. So let's get these thrown in real quick and fired up. Thing's a little bit of a pain in the ass because this boot doesn't really want to go anywhere.
not any better. Hmm. Well, let's take him back out and put the E3s in. So that's after pulling the plug out. You can already see the electrodes like a tannish color. It was white. It's still clean, but I don't know why this thing's running so fat. Regardless, we're just going to try these E3s out, see if it fixes our problem. If not, we'll rip the motor back out, take the hardware freight, go get a brand new one. Round two. 